people with multiple sclerosis who've been told they have to be on medication for the rest of their lives, they're okay without medication now and they have no symptoms. People with rheumatoid arthritis, the same thing. Why? Because they got in touch with their real selves. They stopped with suppressing themselves. They stopped trying to please everybody else. They said, who am I? What do I need? What are my interests? What, am, what do I need to say no to? What do I need to say yes to? A lot of these conditions, who are, which are considered to be chronic and incurable, they're not. There's a case I give in the book of a woman with sclerodermis. The connective tissues of your body get stiff. And this woman, age 29, she said, I was being mummified alive. The medications failed. They didn't work for her. All she wanted to do was die. Because she dealt with her childhood trauma and she became authentically herself. Now, she's walking around, hiking, writing her autobiography, winning poetry contests, illness, is a manifestation of a person's trauma and a person's life. And if you turn that life around, you can very often have a positive impact on the illness as well.